Hi guys, welcome back here to the final part of Waterworld. I actually wanted to get this completed in the end of 2019, but unfortunately I didn't. So this is going to be, you know, the beginning of 2020, finishing up this project, uh, moving on to a new one soon. Um, but yeah, Waterworld, it's been great. I always wanted to build a full-size water park um, in the game, and when this uh, water slide mod came out, the slides are not functional, but when the mod came out to make slide pieces, I thought it was a great opportunity and a good chance for me to actually experiment with these pieces and um, to create like a, a water park. So um, that was the idea of this uh, park. I also um, wanted to give it a little bit of theming but nothing too crazy. I wasn't sure in the beginning how it was going to turn out. My experience and my knowledge of water parks isn't so great. Um, I know a little bit about them, not as much as I do with theme parks, but uh, I put together a water park here and I found a few little tips and tricks along the way with certain things. But uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed it. It's certainly been quite a, a long build, um, longer than I had planned in the beginning, but I have enjoyed it and uh, I think what it's turned out to be, um, I'm quite proud of. I think it looks great. So uh, I'm going to put it online on Steam soon uh, so you guys can actually download it and experience it and look around for yourselves. But uh, I will do a final video of just kind of doing some kind of panoramic or I don't know, some nice shots of the of the park just to show you what I did. Uh, but this is the kind of final time lapse build video of this park. So uh, basically in this today in the episode, I'm just uh, completing some of the slide supports. So uh, I just did the this big family raft slide. I did the supports for that. I'm also going to go ahead and support the um, the kind of mini half pipe slide that I've got going on here, the green one. Uh, so I'm going to do that as well. This slide is a bit funny for me. It kind of, I feel like the end's a bit weird with the small pool and stuff, but that's just kind of how it's going to be. I imagine that the raft loses speed in those half pipes and then kind of floats into the pool. So that's kind of what's in my head. Um, but uh, yeah, so um, that's kind of the last slide. I'm just going to support that now. And uh, I've made that using roof pieces and slide pieces kind of merged together. And then I just need to go around the edges and fill in the rest of the trees and foliage. Uh, I did this before Max Freak's uh, foliage mod, so I'm using the old trees and the old fo foliage from the in-game. And uh, also I will go around and just kind of clean up the last few little path edges, uh, that kind of thing. Um, I did go ahead off camera, which you won't see today, but I added like a, a pontoon in the middle of the lake. There's a lake at the side of the park. I added like a little thing in the middle of it with a, with a park logo just so that you can kind of see if you were driving along the road that goes alongside the park that you can see uh, what's inside what this area is uh, so that was the idea there so now I'm just going to go ahead and uh, animate these slides a little bit with some of the splash effect this is something I've done throughout the whole build on every slide at the beginning and the end I've added these kind of splash particles um, just to make it uh, look a bit more active because the slides aren't functional so I just wanted to create a little bit of animation there um, the other day actually I was just kind of playing around I like to just kind of open a, a sandbox and experiment a little bit and um, I actually uh, did a toboggan coaster and I sank the track into a, a slide so it kind of looked like it was like a you know something actually going down the slide and then the lift hill was like the return um, boat raft lift kind of thing so that was kind of cool it didn't work like a hundred percent how I kind of thought but it was kind of cool and I thought maybe if you were in the future to do kind of some slides or if I was to play around more with slides I could maybe try and merge that kind of toboggan coaster concept with the slides together um, so water slides uh, I don't think it will end here I have plans uh, as I mentioned in the last video of my King the Car uh, series I, I'm planning to do an indoor an indoor theme park as like a new project and uh, I feel like in that indoor park there there might be a small water park so I'm thinking of doing like a winter themed kind of blizzard beach style mini water park within the indoor theme park so maybe there'll be more from water parks for me this year so the last thing to do really now with these slides is to add the roof to the slide tower so I'm just kind of uh, I'm trying actually to make every slide tower in the park slightly different I want them all to match but have different roof styles and uh, so I've gone in there with um, this kind of 
I think it's called a gable roof or something. Um, I've kind of used that. I'm going to change the colors in a second, but I just wanted to make it a bit different. Uh, this is actually the biggest slide tower. It's the, the widest one I have in the park. And also it has the return raft lift from the family raft slide going up to it as well. And uh, so yeah, just adding in some wooden support details just to give it a little bit of theming. Uh, the park doesn't really have a theme as such, but um, I guess I kind of went for like a kind of somewhat Caribbean um, kind of palm trees. I added some kind of nice bright colours in there. And I also did quite a lot of, uh, quite a few, sorry, um, kind of biplane crash sites kind of thing. So like it's like a Caribbean kind of jungle forest thing. I don't really know, but that was the kind of idea, something tropical. And that was the idea for the park. Well, the idea that I kind of ended up coming up, uh, upon throughout the build. I didn't plan it from the beginning. I just knew that I wanted it to be nice and bright and colourful. So that was the kind of initial idea that I had. But um, I'm just finishing up the slide at the bottom here with some wooden theming. And uh, just to kind of make it look a bit prettier from the uh, people that are visiting the park. Uh, as long as their view's good, it doesn't matter what the backside's like as well. I kind of normally find with theme parks and, and things. So uh, I'm just going to cover up the uh, path here with like a little roof to stop the uh, water splashing down on guests or something. Um, and then create like this kind of fenced off walkway to the rest of the park. So that kind of connects that area from these slides and the kids area over to the other side of the park. It also leads up to like a bridge where you can get into the coconut island in the middle. And uh, yeah, so uh, as you can see, it's pretty much done. I've just got to connect up those uh, paths here and just kind of finish up the uh, the path uh, covers on the edge that I like to do. Uh, this I'm not going to show you today because I've done a lot of it in the last few episodes. And so you know exactly how I do it and nothing ever changes. I always do the same. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that now. I've also um, off camera actually added in some um, seating areas of umbrellas. I've just kind of plopped them around. Didn't record that, didn't think it was that interesting. And uh, sometimes I actually start kind of, I like to go into a park file, have a look around, see what needs fixing. And then I forget that I'm not recording and I start doing stuff. And then I realize, oh no, I, I should have pressed record. I shouldn't have done anything. Or sometimes I know I haven't pressed record and I think I'm just gonna touch up this edge of this path. And then an hour later, I've built like a whole area and didn't record it. So I did that quite often by accident. I don't mean to, but uh, I try and record everything as much as I can. And uh, I have a lot of footage of stuff actually that I have never put on YouTube. I just record sometimes just in case something comes of something. I open up a sandbox, I build a ride. And if it's good, I post it. If it's not good, then I scrap the footage, you know. I actually built a, um, I started a new park last year, uh, which I went to uh, Energylandia in Poland and I got really inspired to do a kind of Polish style theme park. Um, it started off kind of cool. And then it just, it lost, I lost, halfway through the build, I lost it and nothing came of it. So unfortunately I didn't show it online. But anyway, that brings me to the end of the video. I hope you've enjoyed it and I'll see you all next time for another episode on my channel. Ciao.